Hi, this is Tweak. On this week's episode of Tweaks with Tweak, we're heading out of the studio and into our garden. Come along and see what we've got growing. Welcome. Here's what I love about gardening. The growing green things, the produce and fruit you get from the garden, and the ambience of the noise, the wind, the chimes, the birdies. I just love it all. Our first stop is to the tomato bed. I have never seen the tomatoes this tall, but we got seven inches of rain last month and they are showing it. Lots of green here. I'm new to gardening. It may not look it, but I am constantly learning. And I probably should have pulled back on some of the foliage to give it a little more time to make fruit, but we have some fruit coming on, so we'll be enjoying tomatoes soon. I'm hoping for that. Our next garden bed is full of sugar pumpkins. It's a little bit different. I just threw in the seeds and let them go. Probably should have pulled a few out, but we'll see how many pumpkins we get. They don't have to be real big, because we can actually make pumpkin pie out of them. And they look beautiful. And look at these blossoms. They're just so pretty. Look at that. All the pumpkins and the squash family, they make these beautiful, beautiful blossoms. I just love it. In one of our episodes, we made these beautiful garden paddles. I just love them. This one is butternut squash, and we have a complete bed full of that. Again, I just let the plants go. Butternut squash, I have marigolds in the corners. I like putting marigolds around the beds because I've been told they're a good natural insecticide. Helps keep some of the bugs away, and that's good. But we've got butternut squash in here. I'm the only one in my family besides my father-in-law that likes butternut squash, so I don't need a lot of them. And I'm encouraging them to climb the trellis. They look beautiful, don't they? Our next garden bed, aside from the marigolds, which I always plant, is experimental. I have not tried peppers before. I haven't had much success. And I've got four varieties here that we'll see what happens there. And I've got carrots, and I know I should have thinned them, but I'm gonna see what happens and I'll let my grandson pull them out. And then we've got peas up the back. And peas and carrots and peppers. That's our garden here. Our next bed is my hopeful bed because the watermelons are trying. Let's hope we get a watermelon this year. They're so delicious. I've got my marigolds. And then this whole area here is spinach. What has yet to germinate. I have to wait about another week. And hopefully I'll see some fresh spinach there. Yum. That's a delicious garden bed. Our next garden bed is a new variety I've never tried. It's called a moon pumpkin. And what it is, is you plant your plants and on the vine you let one fruit grow. So you, you know, pull off the other buds. And that one fruit can reach up to 200 pounds big. That is a huge pumpkin. So would I rather have one 200 pound pumpkin maybe or four 50 pound pumpkins? I don't know, but if these guys get as big as they look like they're going to, everything's giant size on these guys. My grandson's going to have some fun picking pumpkins at Halloween. Our next bed is one of my favorites, cucumbers. I've got two varieties here, regular pickling cucumbers and the new English seedless cucumbers. We'll see how they turn out. Right now there's a couple little teeny babies in here. And I will keep a close watch on them because they are delicious. 
This bed also houses our toad abodes. I'll check for a toad later. In one of our episodes on Tweaks with Tweak, we made garden stars. They are absolutely beautiful in the garden. The color, the shine of the crystal in the sunlight, and they swing and sway so easily. It's so soothing, and it goes right along with the ambience of those birds. Our next bed may be considered by some to be a throwaway bed because I could plant any variety of things here. It gets pretty good sunlight, but it's got wild geranium in it. Started out as a very small patch and it's filling the bed. And the reason why I kept it, it's a huge draw for beneficials. Bees, when this thing flowers, million bees on it. Well, not a million, but a lot. And bees are always good for the garden. So I let the geranium do its thing. Have you ever heard of a gutter garden? Well, we have, and we added gutters to the side of our garden fencing, filled it with marigolds, a natural insecticide. They seem to work, and they're beautiful. Just keep them deadheaded, and you will have spring through fall frost, beautiful flowers. Beneath our garden gutter is a garden full of mums. Mums that were tiny plants that I saved 50 cents a piece at the garden center. I threw them in the bed and look at how tall they are now. I saved some money and I will have to replant them. I'm thinking around the mailbox would be really, really pretty. Next we have rhubarb. Again, a transplant from a bigger garden to this bed that's dedicated just to it. Our most recent planting is corn. I didn't expect to plant corn. I didn't think I have the space. But there's a new hybrid out that's deck corn. Um, I think it's a 60 some day growing period, which we have here. And I planted it. So this is a very hopeful bed. They need another week before they come up. Seven to 14 days to germinate. So I'm hopeful that within another week or so, I'll see little corns popping up. And this fall, we can have some corn on the cob. Soybeans. This was totally unexpected in the garden. Next to us is a huge field and last year soybeans were planted there and we would go out to the edge of it and my grandson would pick the pods and we'd get the beans. Well, I threw the beans into this bed and here we go. We have soybeans. If they even make a singular pod that he can pick and get the beans out of, this will be a success. I use these pots that are along our fence to put in more marigolds, but the gutter garden's doing so well, I thought I'd rescue some of the little teeny seedlings under the bird feeder, and we're gonna have sunflowers. I have no idea what they're gonna look like. I know what the seeds look like, but there you go. We're gonna have sunflowers rescued from the feeder. We've tried grapes. Uh, we've been gardening here for 14 years and with seven inches of rain in the month of June, wow, are we ever getting grapes this year. Some years ago we planted some dill somewhere in the yard and it migrated into our garden. It pops up wherever it wants to, wherever the seeds float, and I just love it. It smells great, the flowers are beautiful, and we can use it if we want to when pickling some of our cucumbers. Like the dill, the chives started as a small clump and got bigger and bigger and bigger. I love chives with on salad or on top of baked potatoes. Chives again, 
If I'm out picking something and the chives are nearby, the air is going to smell sweet. Potatoes. We like the Pontiac Reds. Although there are many kinds of potatoes that you can plant, those are the ones we go for year after year. And there you have it. Thanks for joining us on our little tour of Tweaks with Tweak in the garden. This fall we want to do another one. You'll actually see some of those giant pumpkins hoping that you do. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and give the bell a listen so you know when our next episode is coming up. See you again.